Right here are our 1978 AMF Sunfish Sugar 2. We're going to split this seam between the hull and the deck. And the way you do that is you, you look for the little line. You look for the seam. And you take your Warner scrape blade. And you put it in there and you start start tapping with your calibrated hammer and you pry that seam apart if you look back here I hadn't even touched that area it's already come open so that means that seam from here on back back to here was popped here's some remnants of some silicone someone put in there to try to Clean it up. Well, they could have just taken their putty knife and it's been a couple days during the week and and uh, got it cleaned up. It's coming apart pretty easy. heard it pop right there so I mean geez that thing is going back way too so we get it popped open Oops, sorry about that talk about how hard this is well it's uh it's coming open way too easy so we're gonna have to kind of probe it a little bit see how far back it goes you know, potentially maybe this well there's a good shot for you right there potentially this seam may have been open at one point so, yep it looks like it has because this little part here is is coming down a little bit a little bit extra polyester resin there this little loop here is when they shot the gel coat in the mold and then put the fiberglass inside of it they put this loop in so they can grab that loop and pop the boat out of the mold what we're looking for is there's supposed to be a, a backer block that goes right here for these uh, screws to go in and uh, we see nothing we see remnants of the adhesive and the little fiberglass hanger that used to go on there and I'm looking sometimes you see remnants of block sometimes it's already just rotted and become part of the boat somewhere but while we're in here the blocks look pretty good they're nice and white they're not mud colored or hurricane colored there's not a bunch of excessive foam which is good because about this time frame they had foam guns and they could put foam everywhere so a couple little blobs to hold these blocks in place they pour the rest of the foam on top of the block and clamp the hole shut real quick and let everything dry and that's the same uh, thing we'll do probably just pour a little small cup there um, and uh, when we get ready to seal everything back up we'll come in and we'll sand the we'll sand these flanges down take a little strip of four ounce fiberglass cloth wet it out with some epoxy resin and then seal it all back together so that's what we got planned for sugar two and we'll uh, let you know as we get closer to doing that 